Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I'm your host, A Salad Face, and welcome to the first episode of RPG Maker Badness, where I play RPG Maker games and give them an honest rating. Now, given an honest rating, I'm going to be playing the game through, seeing where they could possibly do a little bit better, but I'm just going to enjoy the game overall. And at the end, I'll give them an honest scale of 1 to 10 and how I feel they did. Now the first game, obviously, as you're looking on the screen, I chose was Nora's Tale. This game has been described in the RPG Making website as a classic Zelda-like game, so that's, I hope, it's as fun as it sounds. It's developed by Tanfei, and a link to download the game will be in every description of upcoming episodes, so please, play it for yourselves support the game if it's good or if even if it's bad give them an honest review so sit back and enjoy as i attempt to play this game all right let's just go into new game here the hero ah classic all right I want to delete. Nope. Note to self, can't delete. Is there? Nope, that's a space. That's a caps lock. Um, nope. Uh, right. <laughs> might know what to do. Is it B? It is B. Ooh, playing with the controller. Obviously it's the easiest way I could do this. Um I'm gonna name the hero. Whole whole Ferg. Holford. Whole Hoth Whole Pf. Yeah, I like hope. 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 That's what's his name. Hope. Hey, wake up. Hope. Wake up. Uh. We arrived in Aldon. I'll head into the church and set up our stuff. You can follow me when you're ready. Alright. Good graphics already. Oh. I can't wait to see the king. Most people are already in the chapel, but I want to see the king when he comes down that road. I do too. Uh. Hello. Ooh, bald man. I'm way older than the king. I'm way older than the king. Where's my sermon in the mother? I don't know, sir. I don't know. If I can see the king from here. Well, you probably will. This road goes straight down. Don't worry though. I have faith in you. Oh, come here. The ceremony starts any second now. Are you playing the piano? Okay. Uh, one, uh, two, a uh, three. Citizens of Alion, here comes King Conrad the Third. Since 
citizens of Alion, another year has passed. The power of Scepter has blessed our harvest. So let us be thankful for this year's harvest, and let us pray that next year we will be just as rich. Nobody will be had. Never! Fine. We had it coming. Ugh. Oh god. He's dead. They're dead. Okay. One more chance. Give me the supply. I'd rather die. So be it. Oh! Away. <laughs> I can't be stopped. It's where the car. Quick! Somebody has to stop her. Dot 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 dot. <laughs> Is there nobody that has the courage to stop her? Dot 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 dot. Ah. Let's, uh, let's get this voice with I'll do it. Oh, hmm. step her and bring back this stuff down. Thank you, brave hero. In order to stop her, you do three, three magical charms. The lightning charm for the clockwork citadel, the fire charm for the blazing bastion, and the ice charm from the frigid, frigid, frigid. I'm pro at reading things. It's one of the overpronounced things. That's what happened. It's Frigid Fortress. These three charms will give you the right to carry the spirit blade. The most powerful weapon ever made. Only this weapon can harm her, the Mirror Queen. Go oh, now. There is little time. I will do it. For my country! I'm so proud of you! Me too. Oh, it's extremely loud, so I'm gonna change. Oh, yeah. Should have done this at the start. But now I can actually hear. Alright. So, we're off on our adventure. Hey, how did he get out here? Sure, let's save the game. Alright. Oh. Alright. We saved the game. Do you have any cash? Ooh, the bookstore. So, I'm recording this on the New Year, uh, New Year's Day, and, uh, yeah, you know what I, I there's all these talks about, oh, you gotta find somebody on New Year's and hopefully have a good time, you know what I did, I sat in my room and watched Netflix, it was a great time. And make on a book you like. The shelves are on the right. Oh, okay. How odd. She was a powerful magician and learn. Yeah, so. Yep, I was watching a new show. It's not really new, but for me it's new. It's uh, How to Make a Murderer or something like that. And it was actually really good. So that's what I was doing all the way up to 5 a.m. Watching that. So it's actually really good. I think it's easy and here's pointless. So. I recommend it if you guys have Netflix. It's pretty good. Now. <laughs> you gotta. Ooh, who's this guy? Eh. Get back here. Get back here. What am I doing now? Oh no. Oh no. Okay, we're good. 
exactly right. I can. And, uh, so, obviously you guys are like, oh, this guy is awful. But I'm going to say it's not true. It's almost true. And, uh, give you a little, you know, I'm just going to try to persuade you guys here for a second and give you who I am. I was born in 94, um, that's right, I'm 21, um, and <clears throat> been playing games ever since I was probably four, I, the first system I ever owned, my parents had the Sega Genesis and the Super Nintendo, and I played the crap out of that, and then I got a PS2. No, a Nintendo 64. Sure. Cool. Oh, uh, 50. Um. Alright. What's over here? Uh, ooh, a house. Yeah, so. Nintendo 64 playing Super Mario on it and Yoshi's story. That was fun. Um, then, if you guys want to know my favorite game of all time, it would have to be Kingdom Hearts. That was my childhood. Played a lot of that game. And. Yeah, it's, I played a lot of that game. You guys know what I'm talking about? It's a hundred percent. I can't wait for Kingdom Hearts 2 to come out. Oh yeah, I'm digging this music right now though. Oh, it's the sword! How peculiar, it's right there. I think I went down the wrong way. <laughs> Yep. Don't think I was supposed to battle the queen yet. Get three hearts. <laughs> yep. So that's basically um a little short bit of me. Um, favorite movie? Twister, Independence Day. Those are, those are my movies. Where should we go? Left, down. Let's go left. That's, that's what I choose. All right. Nothing over here. You gotta explore these games. It's it's the key into surviving this world. So you gotta s explore everything. Ugh, rocks. I need a power glove. I don't think. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I know where I'm going. I'm going to these. It's like faces, like. <laughs> They just sit there and like, and then this one's like, "Do you think they saw us? Help me! Help! Help me! Yes, you, me. Yes. Let me have been trapped in this hole for many centuries now. You need to help me. Uh, I don't. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, the person I'm always with told me not to. Uh, not to talk to statues of stone people. But you got to save me! I'm sorry. Here. Ah! Thank you! Drink up. <laughs> oh, I went the right way. Clockwork Citadel. Oh, heck no. Those look like those they just collapse and fall. I like the I like the graphics here though, it's really good. Um oh boy. Those things they they hurt. I don't I feel like what, are, what is this? Do they come alive secondly? I don't know. This is scary. Oh boy, I don't know. Well, Perhaps we'll find out next time in the next episode. So thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time. Later.